Good morning. It's good to see you today. Hope you're doing well. It is New Testament Thursday. Our reading today comes from Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Paul says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Guess what? Paul is not talking about that raise at that job that he's always looked forward to. He's not talking about the fact that he needs to lose 20 pounds. He's not talking about his need for a new car. A lot of folks abuse this verse, probably one of the most abused verses that there, that there is. I wanted to see what Paul is actually talking about because what he's speaking about, and in the context of verse 11, he says that he has learned in whatever state he was to be content. That's what he's talking about when he says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He says, I have learned how to be abased and I have learned how to abound. He has learned how to do with and he has learned how to do without. He has learned how to be content. Earlier in the book, in chapter 3 at verse 8, he talks about his former life. And he says that he counted those things as rubbish or dung. He had learned what was important and what was not important. See, a lot of times we focus on things that aren't that important. And we apply this verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We need to learn how to be content, and we need to learn what, it, what matters and what does not matter. That's what Paul says he had learned to do. He had learned to put others first. In chapter 2 at verse 3, he says, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem others better than himself. He learned to stop thinking about himself and start thinking about others. When folks apply our Philippians verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, 99.9% .9 of the time they are not thinking about anyone else but themselves. We have got to learn to esteem others better than ourselves, putting their needs ahead of our own. That is what imitating Christ truly means. And that is also what is talked about in chapter 2. Paul also talks about that we need to focus on those things that are good and lovely and pure. In chapter 4, at verse 8, he mentions that very thing. We need to meditate on those things, focusing on them, not being anxious, right? Being content with what we have, not being anxious, focusing on those things that are good and pure, and not complaining. In chapter 2, at verse 14, do all things without complaining and disputing, right? A lot of times, we are filled with anxiety because we are not content, because we have not learned how to be abased and learned how to abound. What we need to learn, we need to learn the same thing that Paul learned, because what we have to learn is that this world is not our home. Chapter 3, verse 20, for our citizenship is in heaven. This world is not our home. We are looking forward. We are pressing on towards the goal, right? So that means if we understand all that, what Paul is truly saying when he says, I can do all things. What he's truly saying is what he talks about in chapter 1, at verse 21. For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Namely, if I live, that, that's fine. I have learned how to live. Namely, I can live in Christ and I can die in Christ. I can live in faith and I can die in faith. That's what the verse truly means. Hope you enjoyed this study. We'll see you tomorrow morning.